I used to believe that marriage was about knowledge, that it was about knowing someone was right for you, maybe even perfect for you. But this knowledge is an illusion. We can never really know in advance what the consequences of our actions will be over the course of a lifetime. Once I realized this, I came to believe that marriage was about sacrifice. We sacrifice the freedom of being alone for the benefits of partnership. We sacrifice our time and our energy to make our spouse happy. Meanwhile, our partner does the same. And by both sacrificing our selfish needs in favor of each other, we are enriched beyond what we could have done alone. But in life, there is no cosmic ledger to balance at the end of the day. The twists and turns of fate may demand unequal sacrifice, but love cannot be measured in crude transactions. Now, slightly older, I have been humbled by what I do not know and terrified by the sacrifices life can demand. In light of all this, what is a marriage? What does it mean? It is a declaration. A declaration to all, but most importantly, to each other. That in the face of the boundless uncertainty of life, you would rather go through it with this person at your side. One day in college, Lane and I were sitting outside, probably doing something stupid, and he wa seen Chelsea walk by. And he's like, "I'm gonna marry that girl one day." I'm like, "All right, Landon." <laughs> Many of you may know, but uh, most of you probably don't. We actually call my daughter little Helen, because she is a spitting image. She's just like my mom, through and through. And Landon, if you don't know this, she has a short fuse, just like my mother, and a great big heart. And, true story, we actually call Landon Jimmy Jr. after my dad. Landon and my dad are both really good at getting into a whole bunch of projects at the same time and probably not finishing most of them. But just like Chelsea's pa, Landon will do anything for anyone at the drop of a hat. Sometimes all the pageantry of a wedding can seem a bit silly or stressful, but there's a reason for it. We gather our friends and family together and say certain words and wear special clothes to give this declaration the weight of tradition. So enjoy this special day. Remember the joy and hard work that brought you to this point. I'm sure I speak for all of your loved ones when I say that I'm honored to share this with you and I hope your journey is a long and happy one. And then Chelsea, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. It is my pleasure to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Foster. Chelsea, though, has found her gym, right? And we find a lot of comfort in being around them because of this reason. Um, but that's basically the end. I just want us all to say th those three special words and raise your glass for a toast. 
And Landon, don't forget them, okay? They are, you are right.